Hey guys and welcome to the Awakening Energy. I'm Skeed. Let's just take this time to connect to the energy. Forget your biases, forget your programming, just connect to the energy. Talk about programming. It's funny, there, there are some programs out there running. It's like you, you can find them more. Instagram and TikTok, the comments people make. And it's, obviously people are where they are, they're on their path. But at the same time, you just, I don't know, you have to feel sorry for them as it were. And, uh, for example, you know, there were comments of, saw this video with this guy with a super long beard and there was a comment saying, oh, you look like a Taliban. Like, why do you choose for them to look like a Taliban? Why didn't you choose them to look like Dumbledore, you know? Um, other ones, other comments, um, and there was a video, this baby hanging off something, and all these people were saying, oh, that's child abuse, oh, that's, that's natural, babies do that. They can do that, they have the strength to do that, they're designed to do that, to cling to their mothers. It's human nature. To be able to cling to their mothers all day long. And it's just the total ignorance. The choices people make based on what they see in their immediate reactions. So that you can feel the hate within these comments, the negativity within these comments. And it's like, such a shame. First of all, it's, if you see a video you don't like, just scroll past it. And interact with it. Don't draw in that negativity of your programming, of your beliefs. Let it go. And that's why today it's the purpose of what I was saying in these comments, these extreme examples. Because if you want to go a long way, in energy work and release all your past emotions and past traumas and move higher. Then if you look at the tantric words, if you look at the ancient wisdom words, it's even in yoga. In yoga, it's lots of levels and good and bad. And, but if you go to the top of yoga, you go to royal yoga, Raja yoga, which is the one I studied. Very similar to Tantra. Then it's, don't interact with those thoughts you have. Don't interact with that computer program running in your head. You have a thought. Don't even push it away. Don't say, no, I don't want this thought, go away because that is an interaction of thought. Just observe it. And it fades. Especially if you use your breath, breathing in, it's something negative, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. No hold at the top, no hold at the bottom. You have that thought, you just use your breath and it will fade. And over time, these things will fade. You will be able to break your program. 
And the more you sit in the presence of the energy, Kundalini energy, Tantra energy, whatever you want to call it, the more you practice it, the more you connect with it. Perhaps you just put these videos on with the sound turned down and you just have them playing on your TV, on your computer, in the background and just sit with the presence, connected to it. You can do it on a mobile. We have tested this and if it's a bigger screen, it does strangely make a difference. Perhaps is there a, between a computer screen and a TV screen, there's not so much of a difference. But yes, between a mobile and a computer screen, there is quite a lot of difference. And just connect. And just release the thoughts. And just see how absurd some of these things are. It's like techniques like this. People call them cults. Like, do you even know what a cult is? It's like, it's got nothing to do with that. If anything, it's anti cult. You know, people will see and people will judge a book by its cover based on previous books they've seen and haven't read. You know, life these days is, it is literally that. People will go, life is going in to a bookshop and starting to look at covers. And they decide they like one cover. They don't read any of the books. They just look at the covers. And then based off that, over a period of years of just looking at covers, they decide whether they like other books or not, based off the cover. And the knowledge they have, maybe they read the back of the book. And that's how society works today. People don't actually go and read the book, and then read the bibliography of that book and go read the books in the bibliography. They don't do that, they just, Look at the cover, read the back, maybe the inside. You know, that little bit on the inside. That's how life works today. Social media life, Instagram life, YouTube life. Namaste.